tracking this story from Hong Kong. I mean, what can you tell us about this investigation? And we should say, of course, it comes as enforcement of that controversial new security law has profoundly changed what's been going on in Hong Kong. Absolutely. And the details have been just coming in in the last few hours. Hong Kong police have said that they thwarted this suspected terror plot after arresting nine people, including six high school students, on suspicion of um, terrorism, of terrorist offenses under the national security law. According to the Hong Kong police, they say that the nine had rented a hotel room in the Kowloon area of Hong Kong where they had intended to make bombs. According to Hong Kong police, they said that they were planning to target public facilities across Hong Kong, including public transit, um, courts, as well as cross harbor tunnels. The Hong Kong police also say that they found an operations manual in which there were plans for an attack to take place in early July. No bombs were made, no bombs were found. Now, of the nine who were arrested, five are men, four women, six are high school students. They're all linked to a Hong Kong independence organization called Returning Valiant. Now, here is Steve Lee. He is a senior superintendent of Hong Kong police. He had more on the arrests. To establish a homemade lab to manufacture improvised explosive devices in the middle of a busy city is very insane. I think everyone would agree with that. It's very irresponsible. It's very painful to see young people getting involved. It's a heinous act to lure young people into participating in this kind of activity. Now, as for who was funding this operation, Hong Kong police would only say that they arrested the main source of financing behind this operation. And these arrests coincide with these ongoing claims by the Hong Kong government that terrorism remains a threat in the SAR despite the imposition of the national security law. In fact, we heard from Hong Kong's top leader, Carrie Lam, earlier this morning. She warned of underground terrorist activity, blaming external and domestic influences for that. Back to you. Yeah, really significant developments there in Hong Kong. Christy, thanks so much for bringing us up to date on them.